Professor Clements with you as we again consider material from Chapter 27 of OpenStax College Physics, this time with the diffraction grating. Uh, the diffraction grating can be considered as just many double slits. The equations we use for the double slit apply for the diffraction grating. So the diffraction grating, of course, has a usually closer set of slits, so the small d number is, is uh, a smaller value, and we have the uh, uh, ability then, better ability to separate colors with the uh, with the diffraction grating. Um, and there'll be many slits, and the maxima tend to be narrower. That's an advantage that the diffraction grating has over the double slit. So on this problem, we have a diffraction grating of 13,400 lines per inch, and we are going to need you know, to do, you know, d sine theta equals m lambda work with this uh, equation to describe where the maxima are located. So we're going to need information on the d. 13,400 lines per inch. Let's see how we find the d value for this. Well, if I would look at the units here, lines per inch, we really want distance between two lines for the d value. So the very first thing I'm going to do is write one inch in the uh, numerator and 13,400 lines in the denominator. But we want to put this in metric units, of course. So we have a conversion, 2.54 centimeters for one inch. And then to meters, we have to get rid of the centimeters. So I'll put 100 centimeters here and one meter here. So inches cancel, centimeters cancel, and you should do this calculation on your own calculator. Um, rounding off a little bit, I have 1.90 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. That's the distance between two adjacent slits on the uh, uh, device we call the diffraction grating. So now a little bit uh, deeper into the problem working with this. We want to calculate the location on the screen that's three meters away. Where is the first order maximum? We have coherent, so the peaks arrive at the same time at all the slits. We have monochromatic light, the wavelength is 580 nanometers, so just one wavelength of light passing through. And we want to know for this one color uh, out in the orange kind of area is this wavelength. Uh, or is this one color fall on the screen for the first order maximum? So our screen is three meters away. We're interested in this y position for m equals one, the first order maximum. So there's some angle theta that comes out here. And that angle theta is the angle that's calculated using d sine theta equals m lambda. In part A, we uh, found the value for d. We now know that the m is a 1, and we are given the wavelength 580 nanometers. So we're ready to go ahead and uh, proceed with the calculation. The d value from above, 1.90, 10 to the minus 6 meters. Sine theta, theta is our unknown. We're going to calculate. And then our m value is a 1 and our wavelength 580, the nano is 10 to the minus 9 meters. So at this point you should pause the video, do your own calculation, and see what numbers you uh, arrive at. For sine of theta, dividing both sides by 1.9 times 10 to the minus 6, I came up with 0 0.30526 and then taking inverse sine of both the sine theta, that produces theta, and inverse sine of this number, that produces 17.8 degrees. So that's our angle out to the uh, m equal 1 maximum. To get the physical distance, the y value, if you look in this uh, triangle, it's right angle here. We're working with the two short sides of the right triangle. We don't know the value for the hypotenuse, so it is the tangent function that is appropriate. The so tangent of theta 
is y over l. This 3 meter distance is usually labeled L, distance from the grating to the screen. And we have numbers to put in here. So tangent of 17.8 degrees equals the y distance we're trying to calculate. 3 meters is the distance from the grating to the screen. So take the tangent of 17.8 on your calculator multiplied by 3 meters on both sides and I arrived at a y of 0 0.962 meters. That's a pretty healthy distance. Um, 0.962 meters, 96 centimeters, but that's the uh, result for this calculation for this particular wavelength of light. If the wavelength of light would have been smaller in the blue area, a smaller wavelength with m and d being constant, what would happen to the theta if lambda was smaller? Well, if the sine of theta is a smaller number, theta is a smaller number. So this angle will go down. For diffraction gratings, the long wavelengths lights have the greatest angle away from the central maximum. So keep practicing with that. Ask your instructor some questions.